Bills Mafia has been begging Brandon Bean to make a move for a wide receiver, and Buffalo's general manager has answered the call by making a big-time trade to land wide receiver Amari Cooper. In the deal, Buffalo receives a 2025 sixth-round pick, along with a star wideout in Cooper, while Cleveland receives a 2025 third-round pick and a 2026 seventh-round pick. Through the first six games of the 2024 season, Cooper has hauled in 24 receptions for 250 yards and two touchdowns, but he does currently lead the NFL in drops with nine. Regardless, the 30-year-old will be an instant difference maker for a Bills offense that has really struggled to get any sort of production from their receiving core this season. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker, everybody. I'm Jake Varco, and we have some massive breaking news here. The Buffalo Bills have landed Amari Cooper from the Cleveland Browns, a star wide receiver, former fourth overall pick. That was a decade ago that he was picked in the first round fourth overall, but he is a welcome addition for the Buffalo Bills. In this video, we're going to talk about the impact that Amari Cooper will have on this Buffalo Bills offense that looks a lot different with Cooper in the mix, and we're going to discuss the cap situation, what impact that has. And there was also another trade made earlier today, in case you didn't hear, as Devontae Adams has been traded to the New York Jets. So interesting timing. We're going to break all this down in this video. Before we dive in, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content coming your way all season long. The trade deadline is still approaching, so the Bills, they might not be done making moves here, but they just got their receiver. Let's talk about Amari Cooper. After weeks of speculation on what Buffalo's front office would do to kickstart this offense, they've landed a star receiver in Amari Cooper, who is a 10-year NFL veteran that's had seven seasons with at least 1,000 yards of receiving, and the 30-year-old has also had five different Pro Bowl nods in separate campaigns. Despite being on the wrong side of 30, Cooper, he can still ball out. In 2023, he had his career best season with over 1,200 yards receiving to go with five touchdowns while with the Cleveland Browns. Now, if you look at the timing of this move, it's very interesting. It comes less than 24 hours after the Buffalo Bills defeated the New York Jets. And on the very same day, just hours later, hours after the New York Jets acquired Devontae Adams from the Las Vegas Raiders. There were rumors about Devontae Adams going to join the Buffalo Bills, but instead, the Bills elect to go with a cheaper option in Amari Cooper and someone who can still make an instant impact on this team. As I mentioned, Cooper is much cheaper than Devontae Adams. He carries a base salary of just over $800,000 and his contract is set to end at the end of the season. So really, it's a rental move, just giving up a third and a seventh, getting a sixth back along with Cooper. So really, low risk, high reward move and the Buffalo Bills offense is set to reap the benefits of landing Amari Cooper. He might not be that true number one wideout that he once was, but I am 100% certain that he is an upgrade for this Buffalo Bills offensive unit. Just think, the mantra of this offense has been everybody eats. It's worked against teams that maybe haven't been the best. But now you get Amari Cooper in the mix. There's a lot of different guys to cover. Amari Cooper, Khalil Shakir, Keon Coleman. And then you have the tight ends, Dalton Kincaid, Dawson Knox. And you also have James Cook operating out of the backfield. Not to mention, Josh Allen can move with his legs. And on top of all this... Amari Cooper, I mentioned Keon Coleman earlier. Well, guess what? He can be a valuable mentor for a young wide receiver that the Bills hope to be their future number one in Keon Coleman. Amari Cooper stands in at 6'1", 211 pounds. He has the ability to stretch the field vertically, but his nickname is the Route Runner. He has some solid route running, and that's a fine addition for the Buffalo Bills offense. Getting this five-time Pro Bowler, adding him into the mix, this is now his fourth different team, three trades he's been a part of, going from the Raiders to the Cowboys, Cowboys to the Browns, and now from the Browns over to the Buffalo Bills. A lot of people are going to want to compare the deal that the Jets made to land Devontae Adams to the deal that the Bills made to land Amari Cooper, and when you really break it down, I think it makes a lot more sense for the Bills to go out and get Amari Cooper. People might have wanted Devontae Adams. That might have been their preference, but that's and that's fine. Obviously, Devontae Adams is a huge name, star wide receiver. 
But really, with Amari Cooper, you are getting a star wide receiver. He might not have the same production that Devontae Adams has had, but he is a reliable option and someone that's going to instantly make an impact for the Buffalo Bills. I feel that this is a move that could be a needle mover for this offense, really going to help out their production, help them move the football down the field consistently, and put up some more points because that has been a struggle, especially over the last three games for this Bills team. Gives Josh Allen a reliable number one option, and you're really not locked into anything with Amari Cooper. His contract ends at the end of the season, so with this deal, the Bills get their number one option. While the Bills might not miss the person Stephon Diggs, they are definitely missing the production that Stephon Diggs once had for this Bills offensive unit. Now, while Amari Cooper might not provide that exact same type of production, he does have that ability to do it, and he's going to definitely contribute in helping this Bills offense replace that contribution. And just so many different options for Josh Allen now. And this is 1A, 1B type of wide receiver that's going to come into Buffalo and be an instant impact receiver. Solid addition for the Bills landing this receiver to go with Josh Allen in this offensive unit. I absolutely love this deal for the Buffalo Bills. A landing Amari Cooper from the Cleveland Browns, barely sending any draft capital back the other way. You got to think the Bills still have their first round pick and a pair of second round picks in this upcoming 2025 NFL draft. You get Amari Cooper. He's a free agent at the end of the year. You can pay him if you want to. If it works out, pay him, extend him. If not, let him go. You only gave up a third round pick and a seventh getting a sixth back. So really, a solid deal for the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Bean, I love how we work the phones. And it comes just after the Jets make that trade. Kind of trying to one-up them in a way. Obviously, the Jets get Devontae Adams, who... Obviously, he's Devontae Adams. He's a solid wide receiver. There's no taking anything away from that. He wanted to play with Aaron Rodgers, go back with his guy in New Jersey. New Jersey. With the New York Jets. But now... Amari Cooper is coming to Buffalo to play with Josh Allen. This is going to be the best quarterback that he's ever played with. you got to remember, he's been with Deshaun Watson as of late. I'm sure he misses Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott, but now he's joining Josh Allen in Buffalo. And I'm so excited to see what Josh Allen does with Amari Cooper. How Amari Cooper is implemented into this Bills offense. It's going to be a thing of beauty to see. And I can't wait for it. I'm going to get the first look at Amari Cooper in a Bills uniform this weekend, Sunday, when the Bills host the Tennessee Titans, you're not going to want to miss the content. I'm going to have Amari Cooper content being pumped out on Sunday. Live reaction from Highmark Stadium. So stay tuned for that and so much more. Let me know your thoughts on this deal in the comments section below. Amari Cooper, 30 years old. Five-time Pro Bowl selection. Seven seasons with 1,000-plus receiving yards. Former Cleveland Brown, Dallas Cowboy, and... Oakland Raider, now the Las Vegas Raider, but now he's a member of the Buffalo Bills and I'm fired up about it. The Bills trade deadline has not passed. They could still make some moves and if they do, I anticipate that being more on the defensive side of the ball. But for right now, the Bills just landed Amari Cooper, so let's celebrate that. I can't wait to see him. Stay tuned. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. Like this video and tell me your thoughts on this deal in the comments section down below. Would you rather have traded for Devontae Adams and take on all that money? Or would you rather trade for Amari Cooper with barely any risk involved? I know what I'd prefer, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See ya!